I'm Heather from Tiller. In this video, I wanna talk a little bit about the user community. The user community is a great place to ask questions and get help. It's a super friendly, helpful user community where people are sharing their free templates for Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. We have a lot of templates for Google Sheets right now, more coming for Excel every day. In this video, I'll share a few examples of some of the templates that people have shared over there that you can get into your Tiller Powered Spreadsheet. So now let's talk about the Tiller community and all the options that are available there to continue powering up your Tiller spreadsheet. So on our website, we have the Tiller Community Ta Templates Gallery where you can explore and browse all the free templates that are created and shared by Tiller community members. There's a lot for Google Sheets, more and more coming for, from Excel every day. So this is a great way to just kind of browse what's available in a nice visual format. When we dive into the community here at community.tillerhq.com, we see the two options here for Google Sheets Show and Tell and Microsoft Excel Show and Tell. You can also browse solutions here. There are lots of solutions here that are a little bit more ad hoc that community members just kind of share on the fly that you can manually add into your spreadsheets using some manual steps to just kind of copy the tab into your spreadsheet. If you'd like to access the solutions that are available on our website, in the community templates gallery section, you can do that using the community solutions add-on. So from the extensions menu at the top of your Google Sheets, you can go to add-ons and get add-ons and then search for Tiller community solutions. So if I go into this get add-ons and I just search for Tiller community solutions, I can go ahead and install this add-on. Now I already have it installed for the video here, but if you don't have it installed, that is the steps for how you can get it and go ahead and install that add-on. So once you've got it installed, you can see it here toward the bottom of the extensions menu in your Google Sheets, and you can go ahead and choose launch here. Now, right now we only have this installation option for community solutions for Google Sheets. Anything that you find in the community once again, in the show and tell section for Microsoft Excel, for example, you're gonna want to manually add those in using the steps that are listed in that community solution listing. But for Google Sheets for now, we have this separate add-on Tiller community solutions that you can use to add different solutions into your foundation template. Now, everything you see in this add-on, you can explore here on the main page. There's lots of different sort of tags or categories of different solutions that you can browse and choose from. I always like to look at the analysis ones. All of these are built by Tiller community members, so they're supported in the Tiller community. They've been vetted by our team and are available in this add-on because they went through that sort of submission process and got uh, eligible to be included in this add-on. So they're built by the community and supported by the community, but they're here in this add-on to make it really easy for you to install them into your Google Sheet. So in this analysis section, you can see there are a lot of different solutions available to add into your foundation template. And you can just kind of expand each one and read a little bit about it here, even in the add-on, or you can find the ones that you like that are in the gallery on our website, and then you'll be able to find them here. You can also just search for them at the top. If there was a specific one you were looking for, it should come up in the search at the top. This category tracker is a really simple one. It's the one I always like to kind of show off and demo because it's just super simple and easy. For any of them, you just click add to spreadsheet and that's gonna go ahead and add that particular template into your foundation template. They all should be compatible with the foundation template so you shouldn't have any problem installing them and then working in the template. And then here we kind of see a breakdown of our spending. So on the left, we can see for whatever date range we have configured, in this case, it's the entire calendar year of 2024. We're gonna see some cash flow income expense information here at the top. And then we're gonna see the category and the amount per category. So it's not just expenses, it's income as well. It's pretty much everything that's not marked as hidden on the category sheet. We get the total amount. This one's nice too, because it also gives us the, the category type income or expense, as well as I think transfers are included on here, maybe not. Uh, but you can also see the group that's associated with it, which is pretty handy as well. In the center here, we can see this nice pie chart that's a breakdown of whatever we choose here using these controls. So we can, you know, organize the pie chart by group or category. 
and then we can choose income or expense, and then we can choose how many slices we want in the pie. So in this case, we've just got 10 selected there. So we see the breakdown visually of these 10 categories that are top, top 10 you know, spending categories in this particular time range. Over on the right, we can drill down for a particular category and see the spending per unique merchant. So in this case, we've got groceries selected. We see the period total for this year so far is around $850. And then we can see the description, which is the unique merchant. So you can see there's a number of Harris Teeter, different descriptions here. So that's what I mean by unique description because it's these are all probably the same store. They're all the same chain, but because they have different descriptions in the transaction sheet, they come up distinctly here in the amount. So total per unique description. So it's just a really handy way to kind of dive in, especially if you love pie charts. It's just an easy way to kind of to see your money in that particular format. There are a lot of other options over here. We see in the community solutions add-on after we've installed it, we get some links to different community related resources. Like if we want to check out the help topic for this particular sheet, we can dive in. It's going to basically be kind of our documentation for how it works, how to use it, as well as some recent topics related to this particular solution. So it really just highlights the power of the Tiller community and being uh, this active user community where you can ask questions and get answers. Throughout the different categories here, we can see lots of activity going on. It's just a great place to explore and understand what's possible with Tiller. In our next video, we're going to talk about how to get help with Tiller when you need it.